It's a demonstration of how we put on a C80. So we wrap the nut in Teflon tape and this ensures a good seal so we don't get any leakage from the, the cell uh, test while it's running. You can also look at the pressure trace that indicates whether your sample has leaked during the test. If it has leaked, hasn't held pressure, you will then have to rerun that test. We place our sample into the uh, cell. Generally we use tweezers to drop it in um, so we don't spill any sample. We then connect the nut to the top. Just finger tightness to start with. We then place that in the C80 cell holding device and then we use a spanner of the appropriate size to tighten that down to relative tightness so that it can't turn any further. And um, the Teflon tape ensures a good seal. We then take that and connect that up to the oil filled line. The oil filled line would have been cleaned um, by running the oil through the tap, which Trevor will demonstrate now. We open the tap. And then we squeeze some oil through the line and it ensures that the line is clear by the oil running clear and free through the 16th line. It requires a bit of pressure to do that. If the line is blocked, we then cut the line and reswage on a new nut. We now connect the nut up to the 16th inch straight through connector, initially hand tight. And once that is as finger tight, we then obtain our two spanners and tighten that up as you would a normal swage lock nut. Once at the required tightness, the pressure transducer and spacer is removed from the jig. And then placed in the top of the C80. We then remove one of the lid fastening nuts and place that through the hole in the transducer holder so it's secured for the duration of the run. We then lower the spacer and the sample down to the bottom of the C80. We then start our run on the machine.